viruses, fungus, all that other kind of stuff. Now, I know some of yours are not protecting you very well because I've actually seen fungus on a couple of you tonight. <laughs> so, you know, you look for those things. When the, when the people walk in, you know who you want to shake hands with and who you don't. <laughs> well, how does your body know? How does your body know that there's a bacteria in there that it should kill? How does it know when a virus is in your body? Well, your body develops in your mother's womb the immune system. And as you're developing in your mom's womb, your, your immune system is becoming self-identified. And each and every one of you has a series of markers on your cells, little markers that are unique only to you, only to you, and they will never be repeated by anybody that has ever lived in the past or ever will live in the future. They are unique and distinct only to you. And as your immune system is maturing, it learns those sets of markers that are on your cells. And it says, when, the, when, when your immune cells go through your body checking for foreign invaders, if it finds a cell with those markers, it says, that's me, leave it alone. If it finds a cell in your body without those markers, it says, not me, kill it. It's, it's really kind of, it really has a basic thought. If it's not me, kill it. Not me, kill it. Well, you have several types of markers on your, on your body that are identified while you're developing in your mother's womb. But boys, they don't start making sperm until they're what? 13, 14 years old. Now, I know you, you've, gone, you've seen kids making sperm when they're six and they're already growing facial hair when they're in sixth grade and, and they're beating up other kids on the playground and stuff like that because they've gone into precocious puberty. But most of us develop, start developing sperm when we're about 12, 13, 14 years old. Well, that's long after, long after your immune system has been identified to self. And those sperm have on them markers which are not recognized as self, even in the boy's own body. They would be recognized as foreign and the body's immune system would do what to the sperm? Kill them. Kill them. Well, lo and behold, in the testicle, there's a barrier. There's a barrier called the blood testes barrier, which protects the developing sperm from the, circulation, the circulatory system in the body, the blood system. It keeps them separated. And so, therefore, those immunoglobulins, also called your antibodies, never see the sperm cells, never mark them, and never attack them. And that's what this blood testes barrier is. And here we see a picture of it. Lo and behold, here's a big Sertoli cell, and here's a big Sertoli cell, and here's the nucleus of it. And the sperm start out as these big round cells, and through a process which we'll talk about, they develop into these missiles right here. And they go through this process. Well, right along here is the blood testes barrier. And the blood cells are down here, and this barrier made by these cells between each other keeps the blood away from it. Now, let's look at a picture. This is in real life. This is from a, a testicular biopsy. And uh, that's where they take a tiny little needle, a hollow needle, and they push it into a testicle, and they take a little plug of, of tissue out of it. And this is a, a biopsy from some guy. Probably didn't make his day. But nevertheless, <laughs> this is... This is what it would look like, and it's, it's been stained there. And look right here. These are, these are red blood cells. These are red blood cells. These are red blood cells. And you see this barrier right here. And there's, here's a nucleus of a Sertoli cell. And, it's, and here's another one. And they're making this barrier, and these blood cells never cross over here. The antibodies in the bloodstream never get over here. And here's a sperm, it's developing. Here's another sperm, it's developing. All these big dark clumps are chromosomes. They're the DNA. And they're going to develop into these sperm up here. And that's what you, that's what you recognize as sperm, these little missiles that are able to swim. And this barrier keeps it across. Amazing, amazing. Well, here's a little quote here from an immunology text. It says, now you'll be able to understand this. Sperm are autoimmunogenic. They can cause an autoimmune reaction. Why? Mainly because their normal sequestration behind the blood testes barrier and their late development relative to the establishment of self-tolerance. And self-tolerance develops when? 
in mom's womb, in mom's womb. The potential adverse consequences of this immune response to sperm include systemic effects on other organ systems. In other words, if your body was exposed to them, you could start to develop other autoimmune diseases. And number two, what? Interference with fertility. And that's exactly what would happen. This is a picture of a white blood cell. These are the attack blood cells in your body. And this isn't a sperm, it's a bacteria. But in your body, you have these white cells. And when they find a bacteria, they send out a long arm. And they, it's, this is cool. They send out a little cytoskeleton, which makes this cell go out. And it pulls out this arm. And it will engulf that bacteria. And it could be, engulf a sperm, too. And it pulls itself back into the cell, right in there. And as it pulls it in, it'll stuff it into a big sack of acid inside the cell and kill that bacteria. Or maybe it'll stuff it into a big sack of hydrogen peroxide, whatever those cells have. Now, that's another story how you can get a big sack of acid or hydrogen peroxide living inside a cell to kill other cells, but it doesn't kill that cell. Nevertheless, <laughs> uh, but that's what it'll do. It'll pull them in, and it'll kill it right then and there. Mary Ebb, she's wrote an anatomy and physiology text. We won't read all of this. It says this very at the very bottom. It says, if the testes become inflamed, however, sperm antigens, that's the sperm leaking out, that's the markers on the sperm, may escape into the circulation. What's in your circulation? Your antibodies, 